So you had a tiger? Yeah, a white tiger. I how, still got I still got footage. I still got footage of it. How it big, small? It was like And they grow quick though. It was like a baby. Yup, I had to learn it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was like Big Boys Big Neighborhood, boy. beautiful day in the neighborhood, man. Great to have this man back in the neighborhood. You always feel good when you bring somebody back, when you're responsible for their entire career. Yeah, man. <laughs> and that's money bag. Yo, welcome back to the neighborhood, bro. Me, bro. Man, you look good, bro. What Appreciate that? And, and it's not just money, because the last time we saw you, you had money anyway. Yeah. What, what What's going on? Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm more focused now. Um, clean. You know what I'm saying? I'm clean and working out, too. Really, though? So you you're in the saying? gym? Focus. Yeah, for sure. Man, I was trying to tell my boy, like, like believe it or not, I'm in the gym too. You probably looking like, no, nah, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying. You probably like, come on, unk. you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but but what made you say, man? I gotta get either my health together. I gotta get back in the gym because right now, usually when people get on, they can afford everything to not go to the gym. Exactly, you know what exactly. I'm saying? No, uh, uh, like I just I take my craft serious. I yes, take sir. what I'm doing serious. Uh, I got tour coming up and a lot of it, and I just want to look good. Like yeah. I be I be on Instagram. I be scrolling. I see. You know, you would scroll past the workout, the little workout me and it's the body. I'm like, shit, I got to get like this. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> man. And, and plus, you're right. you got to lift all that money, too. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, it's sure. a gotta whole different gotta thing. Lift, gotta lift that up, you feel Yeah, you curling yeah. different bank accounts. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Up. Believe gotta that. Lift them bags. Hey, man, you know what's crazy <laughs> about how your journey is going, man? It's like. It's 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 going so well yeah. now, and we and we talk about this when you're not in the neighborhood as well. Yeah. Just how we see everything is just popping, popping, popping. Yeah. But it's crazy because we can look at things today, but we don't understand how long. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yeah, man. And, and, and take us through like the journey. Like we get an introduction, mm -hmm. but when you think about now, nah, man, it's been you know it's been an easy ten years. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take us through when how, how you how you first got down, bro. Was it uh, always kind of music around you? Were you always influenced by music? Uh, nah, I mm -hmm. can't. Nah, it was it was like streets, like my role models and stuff, like drug dealers, and yeah, stuff like that. Uh, but then I have I developed a passion for music, just like being around this group of people. I used to be in like a group, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I used to be in a group. Me, Black Youngster, two times. Okay, all us we used to be in a group, and then <clears throat> like Youngster took off. And then, like, people that I knew that were from my neighborhood, they was rapping, and they started getting, like, 2,500 for a show. So I'm like, damn, yeah. shit, I can, You're like, you know, yeah. I can do, I can put, I can put, let me try to do like that, little work and the crowd. Plus, when you take that hustle, mm -hmm. a, a hustle into that hustle, you're exactly. like, man, this is this legal? Yeah, it's that, it, I swear <laughs> to God, that's exactly what I say. I'm like, damn, it, damn, it's legal. It's like, let me try to exercise that option, and boom. Were so you I, already it, writing? Yeah, I was already writing. Okay. I was already writing and kind of, you know what I'm saying, trying to perfect my craft and getting good with it. And the, but uh, like people was telling me like nah just keep going bro you had to sip like constructive criticism like, yeah people like tell me just keep going just keep this cool this cool uh, you know what I'm saying I could, I ain't let it turn me, turn me down that's I good just, though you know what I'm saying and I especially just, man when you come from a spot where you know either hustling and you your own you your own get down exactly you know what I'm saying exactly. and, and then when there's one thing where it's like man okay. I'm not making no money over here, exactly. but I'm making my bread over here. What kept you in the game where as far as like, okay, I can see this through? Was it that you already started to see people from Memphis or seeing people get put on? Or yeah, you just like, felt like, like I said, like I was in a group and then it's like I'm seeing people that's touchable, that's reachable right next to me. They yeah. they shifting off and I'm like, man, I just had that confidence. I had that had that just ambition and hunger to push, you know what I'm saying? Just like, man, I'm finna do this. I hey, know man. I can do this. But money back early on, when you hear somebody say, man, like, go back to the drawing board, or you hear the constructive criticism, do you know how to take that at that time? What you mean? Like, when somebody tell you, like, oh, you like you, you kind of went to where somebody would say, not that that wasn't it, but you perfecting your craft. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, and, and when somebody tell you, like, oh, man, you know, Either that's not it, or early on, how do you take that? Where you say you you say it was constructive criticism. I take I use I was using it as motivation. Yeah, y'all was using it as motivation. Like, oh, you got me fucked up. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, finna, yeah. I'm finna show you. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, I, I, I always had that mentality. Of like, I'm, I'm finna show you. You know what I'm saying? So and show them. Hey man, when you look at it now, it seems like of course everything works. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But when you go through the road. Of trying to get there, mm -hmm. it's like real things that's happening. You exactly. know, it's it's life, it's bills, it's money, it's family. You know what I'm saying? And to hold on to a dream that a lot of people don't make it to, that's got to be a different vision and, and a different hustle as well. Yeah, though. and that's the reason why some people just let go of the dream. Yeah. It be real talented people that don't get here because of them situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But 
I feel like this this why I feel like I'm just a strong person. I ain't saying it just because it's me. Anybody can be like, I'm strong. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I'm really strong, bro. Like, I go through real life. I go through all kind of stuff every day. Like, I'm going through stuff like right now, but I'm in here doing an interview with you. Yes, you see sir. what I'm saying? So it's like I don't let it affect me. I keep mo- I keep moving because I know I'm a role model. I know people looking up to me. I know kids like money better. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? They can't. See- I can't let my team or my artists, you know, I got artists. I can't let them see me sweat and let me – you know what I'm saying? So when I might de- I deal with my problems separate, away from everybody else. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? I it, ain't looking for sympathy, pride, none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Is it a little different than what you thought it was going to be, though? You know how when you when yeah. you look at certain people, you're like, oh, man, they on. <laughs> it's money. It's tours. And now when you think about now, like, nah, there's responsibilities. Yeah. There's a way I got to hold myself in public. Yeah. Everybody know who you are. We all yeah. frivolous. Everybody want to sue now. You know, yeah. everybody want to ask goofy-ass questions. And then questions. you can't be too real. Like, when, when you too real, it's like you can't be too real. Yeah. Like, yeah, man. man. It's crazy. Like, yeah. And I, I remember, like, there's some thug I always told me, Free Thug. Thug told me this, like, it was around the time we made Bust Down and uh, mm-hmm. Mandatory Drug Test, like, two records. Uh, and he was just telling me, like, he was like, bro, I know, like, I can tell who you is. I, I know where you come from. You know what I'm saying? I did my homework and stuff. I can tell you a pure person. Like, you got a pure heart. But in this game, it's like, you have to be fake. It sounds crazy. I, mm-hmm. It sounds crazy, but you have to be fake to get where you want to go and get look, just get in. Yeah, like you have to be fake. I understand what you're talking you about what I'm too. Saying? And some people gonna listen to like fake, like no. Nah. Yeah. But that, and that's what I call too. I call it the enoughs. Like you gotta be, like you gotta know how to handle your enoughs. You gotta be yeah. street enough, yeah. Corporate enough, yeah. Business enough. Exactly. This, yeah, and it's and it's this thing that you. And, but that's called masterminding the craft too. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? There's yeah. a certain way playing the game. Yeah, and you got you you're not gonna gun. go in and just shake them up and give me the money. But yeah, you, you can't do that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Because <laughs> so. I look at it like the industry, like you can't use this same street tactic in the in, in this music. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like they'll get they, they shake. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You'll scare them off. You will scam them off from that, like even just rocking with you. Yeah, you will scam off. Oh, I've them seen off. it. I've seen it, man. Exactly. I, I, I've been that. in the game Gotta long enough where I've seen, like, man, I've seen some people like, damn, you had it, bro, but you was more problems than profit. Profit, exactly. And, and, right. and, and as soon as they was like, we can't mess with them, Hurt. they stopped. Dead. They stopped, man. So talk to me about what's going on label wise as well, man. Like, at, at one point, we just want to get in, yeah. and now that we, you get in, mm-hmm. now you you bring other people aboard. To make their dreams, you talking you know, about just the, the uh, CEO, the CEO role. side of it. Oh, uh, you know, I just install what God, what God had put in me, and everything I learned from God. I take that, put that in my artists. You know what I'm saying? The same exact formula. It's a domino effect, bro. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. Some of them listen, some of them don't. Right. But it's up to I mean, you. everybody ain't gonna get it because it went at a point of time when I first got with God, I was like confused. But I always been a listener. It don't matter like the level, even after the hits, after the Waukees, the said some time of days, all the hits, Scorpio. I that still was tacky right now, I but st- I feel you. That was nah. tacky, but <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't tacky because that's yours. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, even after all the hits, I just still stayed a student of yeah, the man. game. You gotta still, it don't matter the level you at. You gotta Always still learning. listen and be like, okay, this, okay, let's go that way because the game changes every day. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? The game, you know, you just gotta adjust to it. How did you and, and Gotti come together though? Uh, we through mutual people mm-hmm. in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Head and Zebo. I signed the uh, endless Head and Zebo first. And then, you know, they was already tied in through the family with Gotti. So, boom, you know, the rest was history after that. Man, I was telling you, man, I saw you guys at a high school basketball game. Yeah. And when I Sierra. walked over, yeah, yeah, when I walked over to y'all, bro, it smelled like money. <laughs> it was it was like a different smell when I walked over there. And then I even asked myself, should I be standing here? You know what I'm saying? Because it got a little foul when I came over. It just The stench got a little different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's got to be crazy for you, man, from a person that came from... You know, and when people say, oh, the bottoms, I had to get it. You know, those are real stories, bro. Mm-hmm. So when you sit amongst people, mm-hmm. and when I walked over to you guys, man, for one, keep it real with you, I wanted to borrow some money. <laughs> but then I was like, nah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but you guys have become like an empire. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and made the right decisions to do so. Mm-hmm. And the same way you say, man, when I got with Gotti, like you still listen. Yeah. And you still you know, a student of the game, For sure. a student of the game as well. Mm-hmm. What do you do now, man, when you see the success? You know, because success is also like a gift and a curse, bro. Exactly. You no, know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. I, just, I, I really just be feeling like I don't be doing enough sometimes. They had to tell me I'm doing it. Like, bro, you you good. You know what I'm saying? But Why, I, though? You know how I, some, yeah, I when you know, say I, I didn't just, feel like I was doing enough? Like, even when I pray, like, even when I pray and I'm, I'm talking to God, you know what I'm saying? I, I pray for more. 
more ambi- more hunger, more ambition, more confidence, more just to strive, to keep going, just to you know what I'm saying, just yeah. to keep never stay content, never be content. I just wanna you feel me? I don't even feel like I'm it where I want to be. But people be like, bro, you tripping? They might look at this interview and be like, huh? You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I ain't. I got some whole other goals. But I'm that's to, real because it don't stop. Me? Because you got to think for so many times you felt like you were probably on a lot of times. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh, this is it. And then it's easy to say when you're on the outside looking in, you looking at them. But, you know, you you have people like me that, like I said, I'm not content. And you be like, this is cool, but I want to get right here. Yeah. I'm trying to go up there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I want to sit up there. And you beyond music? Exactly. Beyond yeah. music, just business wise, just all different type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just Hey man, you know what's crazy about this man is our sit downs to uh and, and and we just see you go. And it was yeah. at one point, man, I remember Amir was like, Oh, I gotta bring money bag back through and, and we couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Man, it was crazy where you were uh, where you were then, mm-hmm. where you are now. Yeah. And that's why this time, you know, I was supposed to be at my aunt's funeral. For real? No, I'm just playing. But that's, that's, <laughs> that, that, but, 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 but that's how important it was. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But but no, nah, but, but but you look and you say, man, this dude, like watching your journey, mm-hmm. watching your journey has been amazing, man. Appreciate you, and bro. and you, it, it seemed like you're in no position where you're gonna stop. No, I don't. I I came in with that mentality. I gotta keep going. I heard that. No matter what. I ain't hey stopping. man. Number, how many kids, if you don't mind my asking, how many eight. kids do eight kids? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you gotta keep going. I gotta keep going. No oh, yeah, what, gotta, yeah, man, yeah. But I, then it's like, I got two and I'm tired. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah, I got eight, I got custody of three. I heard like, that. Yeah, yeah, that's stay but, but oh, man, so but but financial responsibility, I'm pretty sure it's uh 15, 20 of us, for you sure. know what I'm saying? Because it's aunts, uncles, they never stop. No, for sure. But ladies, so what, what kind of dad is money bag, yo, uh, besides yeah. rich? <laughs> uh, when even when I'm working, I try to have my kids around, let them see, so they can understand what I'm doing, and I break it down to them. This is what I'm doing for y'all to get this. If I don't do this, you can't get this. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just let you see that, and then you know, like when I do have a free time, or if I I take like even when I was just work, working on the album and stuff, I take two three hours at the time, and I'd be like, I right, it's a restaurant, but right, do eight, something eight minutes away from the house. Let me take the girls on a date. Let me show them let me show them how they supposed to be treated. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Sit all four of my girls down. You know what I'm saying? Or I might have two of them at the time. Or I might have three at the time. Whatever it is. But I just sit all of them down, talk to them. We get to know. You know, I get to know more about them. I want exactly, to growing bro. up. You know what I'm saying? So And plus you're showing them, you know, yeah, who's going to show up for them later. Exactly. You exactly. Know? Yeah, it's it's going to no have to be what. somebody for real that can knock them, knock daddy off the square because exactly. you're teaching them. Exactly. Then even when my boys, they play basketball, baseball, they are into all the sports. Yeah, man. So I, so I just I do try they to own a team the games. or anything or do, <laughs> do they? Not a, they, don't, they don't own no team. Oh, so, you know okay, so you let them play regular basketball. Exactly. Oh, okay, exactly. I just thought you probably like own the <laughs> own the team or something like that. No. Hey, man, is it difficult? And, and I say this from the position I'm in as as well, fam. Mm-hmm. Is it difficult coming from so called nothing? Yeah. And now you're in a position where you can hand anything to your kids. Do yeah, you I, find that hard? Like how you, you like hard? like man. I don't want to spoil them, but I do want to spoil them. I don't want to like, entitle I them. Lie, I never talk like I ain't never talk ever since I've been just having motion. Like I say, two thousand and eighteen. Like since I've been having real motion, since mm-hmm. I did my deal with Interscope. Speaking I ain't of never, motion, hello. I ain't, t- I ain't <laughs> never tell my kids no. See, like, yeah. I don't like saying no, but don't get it twisted from like oh. I just let them do what they want to do. Right. Now I'll stand on business when it comes to grades and you're doing yeah, this man. in school. The principal called me this and that because they, they hit me. The principal yeah. hit me, you know what I'm saying? Or the teachers, they hit me, Mr. White, Blah J, Blah J, you know what I'm saying? So if they doing all, everything they're supposed to do in school, they're going to get rewarded. That's the same you know thing I saying? do with my kids. I'm like, man, okay, I got my gig. I got what I do. Yeah. And then this is your job. Exactly. This is what you have to do. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Do they know that their father's famous? For sure. Yeah. They, they yeah, be man. hating sometimes when the other kids or whoever want to take pictures. You know, they get just Aww. mad. Just, especially my girls. Yeah. My how old are, how old are the princesses? Oh, come on here, Dad. Give me a. Soon they see me take a picture. Give me a. Take a picture with Aww. me. Pick me up and take a picture with me. <laughs> but it's, tr- it's crazy that they got to share you with the world, though. Yeah. And that's their existence. How old are the, are the princesses? Uh, the princesses, uh, the first one, my first daughter, she's 14. Okay. Oh, she. Yeah. No, no, she on point. Oh you know man, she she to herself too. She different. Uh, four, 14, 11, Oh yeah, nine. Oh yeah, five. Oh yeah, at those ages, bro, 
I, I would know. Yeah. Yeah, I would have you up at the school doing shows for grades and all kinds of crazy <laughs> stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm so I just th- try to stay on point with them. Really, though, talk to me about the new project that's here, man. Hard to Love. Um, I feel like when I say Hard to Love, yeah. it's, of course I'm Hard to Love. I got ways, you know what I'm saying? I can go, I can get into that. Uh, but also, I just feel like people Hard to Love. Like nowadays, it's, people don't come with good intentions. You know what I'm saying? People... Their agendas be just off. They have motives, and, and especially just, now you I got see trust more, issues, huh? and yeah. I've been through a lot with the people that's close to me. Like it's been the people that's really close to me, been the sourest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It's I always like, tell somebody, man, somebody for somebody to stab you, they got to be close. Yeah, they got to be close to yeah, you. Yeah, man. Know what I'm saying? Do this, so I just feel like they just make me hard to love overall, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? And when and when you look at the title on how you were breaking it down as well, man, like you don't know exactly why somebody probably would want to rock with you. Exactly. They're, yeah. The reasons make, for getting next yeah. to you. And even my mom, like my mama and just my siblings and my people that's around, they just be telling me like, you can't do that with everybody. Got to yeah, loosen man. up. You can't like I didn't took chances. I didn't took chances, and I didn't got some good people out of the, taking them chances. But I also, I say a lot of more people than scarred me too. Yeah, man, taking them chances. So they yeah. all almost make you iffy, make yeah. you iffy, make you don't even wanna. You feel me? Especially if your heart is right and pure. And you, exactly. You know what I'm it always like, be the oh, pure okay. ones they try to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. <laughs> and I always tell them, I say, oh, you know what, man? I bought your character and it only cost me such and such. Exactly. I know exactly who you are, man. I deal with this thing, man, called uh, mathematics. Yeah. And with me, mathematics is, you know, let, let's say, for instance, if it's addition plus, you know? Yeah. I want to add years to my life, being healthy, working out, eating yeah. right. I want to add years, want to add wisdom, those kind of things, right? Mm-hmm. When it comes to multiplication, I want to multiply, you know, multiply my income. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Multiply my years on earth, whatever Thanks. it may be. When it comes to division, I got to know how to divide my time between what I do here, with my kids, you put you know, me my down wife. Right now. You know what I'm saying? You put me down. Yeah. And that's it's balance. division. It's really, you really, overall, you're saying balance. balance yep. Balance, and balance. then. Mm-hmm. Subtraction. That's the main <laughs> uh, one for yeah, me. Exactly. I subtract all the bullshit away from me, man. For sure. The negative people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The people that's there for the wrong reasons, bro. And and people probably may say, oh, it comes with it. Like, nah, man. Sometimes like, you can be blind. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you can be blind. And believe in people too. And sometimes you can give them the benefit of the doubt. Yep. Like you'll have you'll come up with excuses just cause who these people is. This is my cousin, bro. Yeah. I can't. I'm going to give yeah, them one man. more time. Can, yep. It don't matter who they is, like, whoever yeah. they got to go. And and it's crazy when you learn that, that tuition into the school of experience. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we keep going back and making the same mistakes because who the For person sure. is. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, man. Yeah. It's crazy. So that yeah. made me hard to love, bro. You just you just broke it all the way down. Bro. Yeah, bro. That, that That's sure. amazing, man. How do you pick? What, now, is this an album, mixtape? This what right here, call This it? right here is a mixtape. I was going through so much stuff, like, in two years. I ain't dropped in two years. Yeah. Um, I was going but to, you didn't the, sleep those two years either. Though. No, I ain't sleep. Yeah. I just kind of, uh, uh, her, her, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Little snacks. Yeah, this one. Little snacks, you know, snacks, you know, snacks, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But uh, I ain't dropped in two years, so I just, and I recorded so much music over that period of time, like 60, 70 songs, and I just was like, hold on, let me just slice it down the middle and just give them a mixtape. Let me go back in that mode. Let me heat the streets back up. Yeah. Let me get back warmed up and let them know. So some people might take this and receive this like, Bro, you crazy. Like, when I drop this, it probably just set everything back. I don't know. You just know how stuff work. Some might come off the project and take off, go this way, go that way, you go that way. You know what I'm saying? All this. So, but at the end of the day, it's like, I got these songs. I'm already prepared. I'm cocked and loaded. I got yeah. the album. Y'all think this song, they going to, I swear to God, bro, you hear this tape, you feel me like, this a tape? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, but, and I got the album already cocked and loaded. Hey, man, are you in competition with yourself, though? Me versus me. Yeah, there it is. I already told the world (laughs) it. You know what I'm saying? And the thing with that, man, with a me versus me competition with myself, it's like, bro, you got such a catalog. For sure. And then now you'll be compared to your work. Exactly. Does that trip you out? Every time, every interview I go in, everybody I talk to, everybody that just, the consumers, they just be like, how are you going to outbeat this? Yeah, but it's yours. It, that's what I'm saying. It's mine. They, I don't know. <laughs> get, oh, you you can be do this no, with somebody else. It's me. It's my. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My stuff. They comparing it to. They were like, "How you finna be better than this, bro?" Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna do? You know. But then you gotta also think like, man, I got better than that the last time. And then exactly. I got better than that the I time before. I just feel like I I I make the best music is when I'm going through something, when I'm hurt, when I'm mad. Mm-hmm. Is is that where Dude, hard to love come from? For sure, because I I lost so many people that I can't enjoy the success and the rewards with now, like trying to get to a certain, another, the right. next level in my life. You know what I'm saying? I lost like three, four people during this process, this two-year process. So I kind of laid down, but I also like found days and 
got the spirit, prayed, you know what I'm saying? Just went in the studio and just kind of let it out. So yeah. when you hear this project, you hear all the love, you're going to hear the vulnerability. And you know what I'm saying? Just I'm letting you in. I open the doors like, come come here. Let me, right. let, me let you. This is what I, you but know you what know what, though? It, and, and But you've always been kind of made something for for everything. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And, and with, with that, did you feel like you tapped in a little bit more where you were like... I tapped in more to uh, my life. Yeah. On this, on Hard to Love. It's it's all... You remember the um the Heartless series and all this stuff I would come to, like the mixtape. This is one of those, a Heartless edition yeah. mixtape. But at the end of the day, it's like, I, I don't feel like I never let nobody in how I let them in on That's this. That's what I was going to ask, man. On did, this Hard to Love. Was, was it easy for you to be that vulnerable? Or is it like you just felt like, man, I, I'm just doing... I'm going to do me. Yeah, I went into that mode. I was like, you know what? I ain't put no more cut on this. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. Like, this is how you get it. Just People that understand it, it understand it. I already made the money. I done already, I'm still making money. I already then made the hits. I'm not going in this process talking about let's make a hit. I ain't do that on this this, right. this project. I didn't go in the studio and like, let me make a, I got to make a hit. I got to get The pressure of, too. The pressure. I ain't do that. I just went in there and just... It came off. Hey, man, and, and how many on, on the mixtape? Is it sequenced by number? Yes, like, uh, it's tw- when you see it, it's 20, but I made sure like, I did it so strategic, like to work to the point it's like, I all the songs, they ain't long. It's gonna, when you hear all of them, you're gonna be like, damn, it's already over. Oh, yeah. So I made you that, that scream, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go scream, run it back, go run it back again, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's that's the process I had with it. Hey, man, and, and now that it, that it is here, you say you got your health up, everything. Health ready. So you, you tour, hit, tour time. Yeah, man. You're right. So, when does that start? Uh, tour star um, August third. That's the Damn. first day in Orlando. Now, who who goes out? Uh, me, Lil Tyler, my mm. artist YTB Fat. He oh, so up. this is you? Yeah, this is me. Um, uh, who else? Big Boogie, two times. All us on that. Oh, so this, so this is yours. You yeah, know, like nice. I heard. Is is that different? When I, you I go might off? come off and you know do how I be go dates? get you do some spot dates and also. Get with somebody else and and do a tour together, but right now, right, this is like concentrate. Fans on ain't seen me. It was pandemic during that time. Yeah. And what did you do now? during the pandemic? Because it's crazy because the music dropped, but it's like, damn, I can't support it. Yeah, like that, how, that how, was, how it was it hurting down. it. Like it was it was hurting it. Like even when um I remember QCP was telling me like when I had dropped said some. I had dropped said something. It was like it, it went crazy. Twenty twenty, he was like, bro, just man, if COVID one right now. You would be yeah, man. Hey, dude, I see, COVID I, one going on right now. I like, seen that with a few of them, where I was like, "Oh man, just n- the tours, yeah, the getting just, like the, the the clubs, the momentum." Was, because that that pandemic, man, it had us shook. We didn't know what was going exactly, on. We didn't know what was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? And then we didn't know how long it was gonna, gonna last. last. Mm. You, and I'm pretty sure, man. Man, and, and you count money. You can't count money that's not in your pocket. Exactly. But I know you got to be like, damn, bro. I- yeah, like, <laughs> like, hey, exactly. Bro. Like, man, like, For sure. yeah. But now I, I feel like now it's go time. No, it's more than go time. Mm-hmm. What did you learn during the pandemic? Uh, I mean, anything. Like when we're like, really in it. The world, like, what you would do if the world stopped? Like, exactly how it did. Like, you got to be able to really save money, put mm-hmm. your money up. I stopped spending like money on crazy stuff. Like I love jewelry. Like it's it's hard for me to not buy to get the ice. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of pulling yeah, back a from that. Beautiful piece you wearing too. Man. Appreciate it, bro. I thought it was chaining there. I Shout thought out. you was gonna bring that in for all of us. Shout out the endless. Shout man. out the endless. Yeah, that is ridiculous, uh, man. You see this one I'm wearing? <laughs> yeah, man. Shout cool. out to Chris Air. Yeah. Shout out to Chris Air. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You wearing yours? I'm wearing mine. I'm Go pulling. Ahead. I'm pulling away from that. Just unnecessary stuff. Stuff I wear like two, three days and be like, okay, what was the point? Nice. Right. You know what right, I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah. Okay, I can't, this part of the costume, I go out, it look good, it look nice, it attract this and that, but okay. But, and, th- and then like when, on the come up, I, I started buying, when I got the money, I started buying a lot of jewelry because I always looked at it like, man, you got to look like money to make money. Yeah, man, you got to look, not not look the part, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. but people look at you be like, mm, yeah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You, I, I had to just make everything fit around everything. Yeah. The music, the look, you know what I'm saying? The pen, it's everything. A pa- it's, it's a this and that. It's a pa- yeah, it's a pa- yeah, it's definitely, X factor. You yeah, know it's definitely a, it. a this and that, bro. X factor, yeah. Yeah, man. But you not you didn't bring nothing for all of us in here, right? <laughs> not today. Oh, not today. Oh, there it is. You ain't not got time today. today. <laughs> oh, this dude. This not one. Today. Mm-hmm. Not you, today. You got to love it, man. Yeah. So the tour starts in, in, in August. August So you're pretty much be busy from, from August all the way until what? 2026? Yeah. <laughs> you know that's the plan yeah man 
Hey man, I remember one time we had you in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. and and we asked, "Have you ever smashed out a fan?" Yeah, uh, I yeah. asked you that. I think it was worst thing I ever did. <laughs> really? <gasps> Why so? Like, how many times did you do it before you realize, man, this is the worst thing I ever did? Uh, Twice. Yeah. Twice. Uh, All right. Yeah. What made it so bad? She probably watching too now. She, yeah, and we take that yeah. down. But uh, but that was twice, and that was a few years ago that yeah. we had you yeah. in the neighborhood, exactly. man. Are you still fucking fans? No. <laughs> <laughs> no okay, no. are you still smashing uh, fans? No, no, I learned from that. See, you feel and me? And like, you said it on there. Yeah, like, you said it on I there. I said it on there, but it's like I learned from that. There was like, there was, there, there wasn't good. Yeah. There wasn't a good thing to do. It <laughs> was like, a good, man, good way to really? go. You're like, man, we celebrating my new project. Like <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with all that. I'm with all the smoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're the like, smoke. man, and you had audio, so you knew you was going to ask me that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, just from where you are now, bro, and, and you see how much beautiful stuff is going on with you now mm -hmm. what's and, and it sounds crazy when somebody say oh what's next you know what i'm saying but in your head you gotta have already like a, a plan of what's cracking for you down the road uh i don't want to tell them i want to get any niggas already be trying to just steal the sauce yeah because i the, definitely was gonna do that you know what i'm saying so so uh i don't really want to put anything out there on the table but it's gonna be a good year for me for sure yeah man it's a great year really. and you know that Hey man, can you do you still trip off of the success though? Like when you like when somebody hands you a mic and you about to go out on stage. Oh yeah, yeah. Or, I'm finna say that. Like I still get butterflies, but you like right before because it's like, man, how it's finna be? How the crowd is? How this energy finna be? Is like I trip sometimes. Then when I when I'm walking out and I see it's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm here. Like let's do it. Do you remember yeah. walking out when you were still kind of introducing yourself? Uh, what you mean? Like just kind of like people didn't know exactly who you were. Yeah, you know that was, what I'm that saying? was way different, like yeah. way different, nerd, <laughs> yeah. way different butterflies. But it's like the butterflies really be like you—you you almost afraid to like fuck up, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Do the wrong thing on yeah. stage, like anything can go bad. It might go sideways. Like it'd be all kind of stuff running through your head. Like you don't, you never know. Is is it more to worry about? And I'm, I don't mean worry, but is it more to think about now that you're on? I say that because. The world's so sensitive. Yeah, man. I say this because the world's so sensitive. So there's a lot of stuff, like, a lot of stuff you might want to say. You might want to just really just be raw and touch the fans. You can't even really say. Yeah, you know what man. Saying? First of all, everybody recording you. So, you, you know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. It's like, you got to be real. You got to think for them almost. Like, think for the world. Like, man, how do you? Yeah. Yeah, you you definitely gotta have a different kind of mental editor now too, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, like, exactly, like exactly. You, and, and we're on air every day. Exactly. And there's things that I used to do back in the day I would never do Ex today. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and there's even time we have a conversation. I'm like, ah, oh, let's not say that on air. And it's exactly. not about oh, y'all not keeping it real. Like, nah, I'm keeping it real. <laughs> but you gotta know what to do, how to do it, where yeah, to man. do it. You know? Hell yeah. What's the relationship with Glorilla? Well, it's my dog. Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah, dude, dude, you had to see like her success coming on. That was like crazy. Like, yeah, man. Like she had dropped a song. She had um, put the F and F out. It yeah. was like two days and two days, two three days. Did you? But I ain't you, never seen that. You I ain't were never good seen somebody with her drop. before that. No, we ain't, we ain't really okay. know. I just I seen like some clips of her and the yeah, girls man. rapping and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I was already telling my homeboy like if you with me, he'll tell you like I was like, bro, we need to go get them. We need to go get you them. You saw was, that. Don't, like, out of don't everything hard. else that's out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You hard. saw that she was going to be a star. I just think, I, like, I, look, I liked it the whole group yeah. situation. I liked it the whole thing. Like, it was just like how they were rapping, how they were coming. It's just like breath of fresh air. I was like, damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, they hard, bro. We need to. But, you know, I, I'm busy. I'm doing stuff. So I ain't really just exercise that option or none of this stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Then, bro, you know. Got him. <laughs> For sure. Hey man, what did Akon let nothing slip through? Almost signed to you. Who? Akon. Did you almost sign to Akon? Yeah, I almost signed to Akon. Yeah. Man, Akon is like Soldier Boy. Yeah. Akon. <laughs> every, everything. Uh, Soldier Boy was the first. Akon uh, almost signed everybody. How did that almost happen? Uh, it was through somebody I knew in the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody I knew in the streets, and um, I flew out there. And it just didn't make sense to me. Yeah. Oh, so so you you knew at that time because you know at one point. We just want to get on. No, I, we I just get thank in. God for that. Like, bro, yeah. I just, like, I'm glad who I'm with. I'm glad who I'm tied yes, in with. Just CMG, just endless. And just everybody that is, that's, that's around, that's in my circle right now, I'm forever grateful for them because I done been around artists and different other people, and they with these people that I thought was all this and I probably wanted to be with at the time. And right. it's like they going through it. 
or they have like these people like they, they let me do this on me. You know exactly this, like man, I'm, I'm supposed to be here. Exactly like yeah. it, I ain't got no word like me putting out music and me working and that's what they they can't wait for me to do that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? They can't wait for me to do that. So uh, everything I deal with is like on a personal tip. It's on a personal tip like that. But people, it's, it's the other way around for for other artists. Like mm-hmm. they be like, man, the label won't let me. Yeah, man, the label won't. My only thing I gotta do is say something. Really though, we doing it, and you good. And it's that simple. Like really, I ain't trying to. I'm, I'm real humbly speaking. Like they, as soon as I say something. And what I want to do, bro, lay it out. How you want it, how you see it. Let's do it. Hey, man, you and Gotti, y'all go out tonight, right? Yeah. And y'all sit down at an expensive restaurant. Who's going to pay? We probably fight over the table. Damn, I heard that. <laughs> no, yeah, bro, I got it, bro. No, I got it. Bro. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't fight with y'all. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hell no. I'd be Lord, like, <laughs> but, but knowing, bro, he's just going to go. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, like my I daughter and his daughter, they, they good, right? And yeah. they were going out. They were going somewhere, man, and he was the ride. For the kids. For real. But he checked in. He was like, oh, picking them up right now. Aww. Oh, They in the car right now. <laughs> For real. Just dropped them off right now. It was For like real. it was like daddy texting. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was me, yeah. him, my wife. Wow. Then he was like, oh, don't worry about it. I'm going to go pick them up. You know, wow. picking yeah. them up right now. They in the car. Uh, yeah. you, like that's daddy stuff. Yeah, that's Not hard. about music. Not yeah. about any of that stuff. That's you know hard. what I'm saying? And even to the point where I knew my daughter was in the car with him. Yeah. I felt comfortable. But I told her, I said, baby. Do something where you hurt yourself so we can sue this man. <laughs> I was like, man, let the seatbelt cut you or just let something grab a hold of you. you know? of I'm going to tell you straight up, man. It's 29 years that I've been in radio like this week. I don't know how much more radio I have. So I'm looking for these lawsuits. Yeah. I'm looking for this frivolous stuff, oh man. So I was telling my daughter, I was like, dude, if you want to eat, we got to sue this man. Don't have to work mm-hmm. But she was again. different. You know what no, I'm saying? Yeah, sure. she, she didn't want to sue her. She's pure heart. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she's more pure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she, she ain't paid a bill yet. You know what I'm saying? She ain't, she ain't paid a bill yet. Yeah. Hey, man, is there anything that you could look back at, Moneybag, yo, and say, man, that was a stupid purchase? A stupid purchase. I, I, I think, I, I don't know if I told you this before, Tiger, I had got the white Tiger. Oh, was, whoa. I don't, I don't know if we talk, I don't know if we knew that no, one. I, so know. you had a white tiger. Who who was that that had a bamboo uh, uh, a baboon? Young Blue. Young Blue had a baboon. He didn't know until somebody told him on social media. It was a baboon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he said he Googled it and he was holding it. It started you know? growing. So you had a white, but you know what? When we get on, those are the things we do. You just, you just, <laughs> then I had like a, I had wanted to like get a monkey one time. I think I had posted it like a chimpanzee, like I post. I like I want just somebody, just a, just a pet, just an animal, just roll my weed up, just smoke with me. Just so you wanted to train monkeys. Just, yeah, 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 one of them. You know. So what you saying? had a tiger. I posted it though. I posted like, hey, who got this? Who, who know where to get this monkey from? <laughs> <laughs> Looking out. Hit me in the DM. Hit me, Hit me in the DM, DM if, y'all, if y'all know where I can get one of these monkeys from. For sure. Like this one. So you write about that when you get money. Just be oh, like, yeah. I want that. Yeah, man. So you got the tiger though. Yeah. So you had a tiger. Yeah, white tiger. I How? still got. I still got footage. I still got footage of it. How big, small? It was like and they grow quick though. It was like a baby. Yup, I had to learn it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it was, it, it probably like, like big. I figured that out. It probably like this. This big. Right, right, right. Exactly. What was it? This big. You had to feed it. It cost you like thirty thousand a month just to feed it. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm out. Damn, I'm man. I'm gonna head out. I got a little homie that just got out of prison. He'd jump around <laughs> for, for, <laughs> for probably like six, seven thousand dollars so, a month. That's a man. ton, bro. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, so did, have you, when was the last time you seen a tiger? It's been years. Yeah, that right. tiger full blown, yeah, full grown so now. So big right now. Yeah. So, so how long big. did you have the tiger? Probably like mm, two months. That's a Probably hell of like flex two months. And then I was moving around too much. So it, then all my, 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 my whole team, they spooked. Yeah. They spooked in the yeah, truck. Bro, it's a we, tiger. Yeah, this, you gotta think <laughs> yeah. about it. You gotta think about it. This time one we, we really want doing jets. Right. We really want <laughs> yeah. doing we want back to doing the jets like Ubers oh. at this time, but it, it's oh, like man. It's like this time we on the road, we on them dirt roads and all that. With you know a tiger? I mean? When I'm first starting and getting money. Yeah, because I drove to Houston to get oh, it. You know no. what I'm saying? I went to Houston to get it. <laughs> How much I you paid for the, the white t- tiger the t- at that time? I had time. got the, t- the tiger and I had got like a monkey. <laughs> I had got like a, one of them little monkeys. And at the time, you know what I'm saying, me and young See boy. See what we get on? Me and young boy was cool. I gifted him the monkey and right. I kept the tiger. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I wonder if they re- you reunited with the tiger, if the tiger would remember you. Hell like, no. give you a big hug and the video tear would go your viral. Ass up. Tiger, <laughs> That'd be your next viral moment. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Be like, man, I told him not to go back to that damn tiger. Mm-hmm. But that's what happened when we get on. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, crazy. when we get on, man. How much the tiger cost? You remember? About 15, 16,000 I paid for it. That's it. What was the name? 
I ain't. I don't even think he I probably, named it. I don't what? even think I named that because it was like he's the called rest. a tiger. Yeah, it, I don't think I even. It was white. It had the black stripes. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna send you some footage. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm gonna send you some footage. I'm gonna send you some footage of me playing with it. You know what I'm saying? The whole. Is at the house. Then that thing start getting in your chest. You're like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah every. It was more of the more of the, it, it, the excitement of me yeah. just having a tiger than me like, oh, could. this is a real pet, like it's a dog. Let me name it. Let me right. just you out. That's the that's the. Hey man, I love steps how you, you said do. people were spooked. Have you ever went to your homie's house and they have dogs? Yeah, no, nah, for sure. That's, that you get spooked off of that. I can't imagine coming to your house and you have a tiger, and yeah, then I'm dog. knowing, dude, he don't know how to. Mess with Mess with yeah. But I'm sitting there like when I show you this yep. footage, like I'm really finna go get this footage. I'm finna send it to you. Like how I'm gonna send it to you. Like I'm really rolling around playing with this tiger. Like I'm really Man, where the tiger right now? I don't know where is yeah, it. Yeah, that now. tiger probably crazy. Yeah, I, know, it, I sold it, but yeah, I, you know, I, I just got right my back. money back Hell off of yeah. it. But hey, it, it hey man, that tiger probably like, man, nobody want me. <laughs> he probably doing an interview right now. With, uh, he probably on a lunch club. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. nobody wanted me, man. Yeah. He probably see your video pop up. Be like, ah, oh, that motherfucker. Exactly. Yeah, he's like, man, I told you, I told you. He pointing to the screen right now. Exactly. Tell his yeah. tiger friends, I told y'all was my yeah. money back. I told y'all, man, that's dude right there. Yeah, man, I'm gonna send y'all the footage. I'm gonna send y'all the footage. I'm gonna send y'all, I'm gonna send y'all the footage, man. Nah, for what sure. about old jewelry? Have you ever looked at some of your old jewelry and be like, man, he's yeah, not? I, just, I had just told somebody that I still got it um I'm I'm really trying to do like I'm renovating my spot mm-hmm. right now spot I just got so I'm trying to make this like trophy room and different stuff like that all the stuff the athletes and different people that gave me and uh just my accomplishments yeah, <clears> so yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm a frame them up glass them up and put it in there like I had got the Mike Myers chain one time when I went viral for the for the meme they were saying put me and Mike face saying <laughs> I looked like you know what I'm saying and so you I went and got the that. negative to the positive got that boom and just a lot of stuff I did, you know what I'm saying? So they don't work no more. So I'm you you putting together a house right now? Yeah. I'm What's your square footage? Uh, probably like 14, 14,000. Hmm. Oh, mm. gosh. Mm. Like, huh? 14,000. Man, we can all live in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I heard that, brother. But you know what? You work hard. And I say, man, never never apologize for your success. Yeah. Never. Is, and now, I, I, I say be humble to a certain extent because yeah. you still like, I feel like it was if, like if somebody tell you like be humble. I feel I take that as disrespect, really. Right. I take it as disrespect. Like why are you telling me? You know how hard I work. You know right, what I man. went through. You know. You the know what I'm saying? Don't tell me everything. to be. Don't tell me to be. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's true. You feel me? So that's that's kind of like the stage. That's where I'm at right now with just this whole just me coming back outside, me rolling this thing out. Like that's my mentality. Like I'm I'm really finna just pop it. You finna see them back outside. Yeah, you feel man. Me? Hey man, do and, and aside from the music, yeah. other businesses that you do as well. <clears throat> restaurant, I got a restaurant in Memphis. Damn, Cache Forty Two. Let me put that out there. I got liquor. I just did a, uh, this liquor deal, Dale deal. I ain't smooth, mad at you. smooth. Go ahead. I got the water, <laughs> VO water. You know what I'm saying? This is, and you got when the people cigars. say beyond rap, you know what I'm saying? Beyond hip hop, like yeah. that, that's the things that we could do now. Is, no, for is, sure. And your restaurant is open right now. Yeah, open to the public. Uh. It, it, little situation here went viral, like with the steak. They tried to come at me about a. Wait, was it the hundred twenty five dollars steak or 135 something? Hundred thirty five dollars. I mean, steak. but it's cheap. You know what I'm saying? But you know what's crazy about Tomahawk? that? If you went somewhere else that wasn't your restaurant, they would have paid it. They Ain't that paid crazy? It, bro. Like, hey man, uh, we go into a business of our own or people of color. And we want to knock the prices down. Can't afford down. to just say that, man. Yeah. I got stuff on the menu that's affordable, right. and they was, <laughs> right. and they also was tripping. Oh, why is size forty dollars, bro? This lobster mac. Right. What you, what you, what you wanna? How much you want it for? Man, like, what you trying to eat this for? You go to Miami. This forty five dollars. Right. I'm really cutting you a deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm cutting you a su- you get a sweet deal coming to cash. But 42. you know what it is? It's because it's yours. Exactly. It's, it's like, because it's yours, man. And like man, I was saying, dude. To- we don't go into spots. We're like, we're going to our own spots. We were like, man, all right, don't charge me tax. You know, you go buy something for somebody. Oh, yeah. how much can I get two for? Like, I mean, man, you're going to walk in Lua. You're going to walk in Lua. You're going to walk in Prada. You're yeah. going to walk in Balenciaga. And you ain't going to ask them folks for no deal. Yeah, so you, why is you walking in Cache 42 talking about this steak is too high? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And, you get and what I'm saying? Thing, yep. It I, tastes good. It's seasoned. Yeah. Season to death now. And, and, and it could be 145 135 150 anywhere. Exactly, but it, it's you, and it's really like I done looked up some private people and shocked me, like, bro, they tripping about this. Cause when it re- it went viral, I wasn't even just always just paying attention. Folks was sending it to me, and like, bro, look, you Google it, it's, it's 
225 over here yeah, in man. Houston and LA this day. You was like, that. man, I'm glad they told me. Like, you was like, now I gotta raise the prices. <laughs> Somebody called me. You like, like, see what y'all did now? Yeah. yeah. Now Actually, you- I was talking to uh because I had her paint my, my crib. Um I told you I'm renovating the spot, my arcade room, Glorilla friend, Teasy. I had she she hit me, she was like, bro, you really gotta raise the prices on these steaks, bro. Really though. After she having like, it- just so good, like, and just it's right. It man. just it's and you know what's you crazy, me? man? I'm supposed to be in Memphis this weekend. I don't know if I'm going to make it out there, though. Are you going to Memphis? Yeah, my son got I'm, a basketball game I'm out there. Make sure I set you up right, man. You Damn, go man. You With the right. flight and everything, though? <laughs> <laughs> no, you said flight and everything right. I'm like, is, 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 is that air we go, and ground? We're going to get you right. Yeah, oh, okay, who do I talk to? But hold on. Let's stop. Hold, there you go in the cut. He who over there in the cut on the phone, man. He always on the don't phone. Get busy now. He on the phone. Oh, he he, oh man, he with you. My man, his ignore game, his deaf ear was popping. Yeah. He was like, "Yeah, man, you know we don't do a lot of charity, big, but uh, let me see." <laughs> <laughs> he like, I ain't gonna even look up and acknowledge this shit that you're exactly. talking about. Exactly. Hey, man, do you do you ever go to your own restaurant? For sure. That's gotta I've be been crazy, there, though, huh? I've been there probably like since it's been open, probably like ten times. But How does? I, and it and it be crazy because people be actually in there eating and just enjoying themselves. Yes. Yeah. Screaming, celebrating birthdays or whatever. And this and is your I walk spot. in and like, like he really here. Drop the fork, all kind. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just, it's a good feeling, bro. It's a great feeling, actually. Hey you know man, I mean? and it's got to be amazing, man, to walk into your establishment or walk into your home, whatever it is, man, and understand that the work that you put in for that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and usually, man, we're in a position where people always, you know, the first thing they want to do is count us out. Mm-hmm. You know what sure, I'm saying? Sure. And, and and I always say, man, the people, you know, that say, oh, man, that counted me out, you didn't know how to count. For sure. <laughs> you know what I'm Lost saying? Count. You didn't know how to count, bro. So I, I love to see what's going on with you, bro. Thanks, bro. And thank you for coming into the neighborhood anytime. once again, bro. Yeah, yeah. All right. You remember you said anytime? Anytime. I and, told you that you last got, time. Back you gotta, again. You got to stop at my uh, my house because- uh, Jimmy and Andrews. Yeah, man. I'm throwing like a meet and greet. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, did I I'm say that out loud? Yeah, dog. Yeah. Man, nah, I want you to taste this tomahawk that I make at yeah. the house. <laughs> Damn, man. <laughs> hey, man, do people really, like, say when you go to a club, do you mm-hmm. know, like, all right, they're going to try to hand me a mic? <laughs> yeah, that, I know that's the move, but I be shattering, yeah, I be shattering them promoters. Like, they can't play with me like that. I yeah. can't, you know what I'm saying? Whatever we do, we're going by the contractual agreements. Mm-hmm. That's what we're doing. Like, we ain't finna, whatever we came up with, Right. Whatever we came up <laughs> right. with for I enter this beat. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we doing. Don't try to get in there and then we you flipping the script. Cause yeah, you man. think I'm feeling good. No, yeah. I'm in good shit. You know what I'm Cause you see me enjoying myself. We in the team might be a great day for yeah, me. Put an instrumental on. Put an instrumental on. Put something else on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But now nah, on, on another tip, on another note, uh, it all depends on how I'm feeling too. I might just, you know. Grab the mic and just yeah, like, hey, yeah, man, yeah. Just let me But don't expect it. Don't expect it. Yeah, man. Go off what we agreed on. Easy call. Yeah. I want to do something with you called for real, for real, for false, for false. Yeah. All righty. For real, for real, I'm just going to ask you some questions about and you. And I answer like that. Yep. And you just say for real, for real, for false, for false. Okay. What names did you have before Moneybag Yo? Lil Yo. So just Lil Yo and Moneybag Yo. Lil Rubber Band Yo. Yeah, Lil see? Yo. See? Like yeah. <laughs> he gonna get in the car and be like, man, I'm so glad I didn't call him tell him I used to call myself Iceman. So, you know, just something, something. <laughs> just so, silly. Yeah. so so th- this is what I want to do with you. I want to do a thing <clears throat> with you called for real, for real. Mm-hmm. If and for false for false. If it's for real, for real, for real, for real, say that. If it's not for false for false. Mm-hmm. He got his name Moneybag Yo in high school from for, his friends. For real, for real. Really though. Yep. So were you money were you with the a uh, yo first or Lil Yo or it was no, it was Lil Yo for sure. And right. then he was like, he was think we would just walk. I remember like right now, vivid. Um, we walking down the street. We really sk- actually skipping school. Right. Uh, and he like uh, rubber band, rubber band, yo. He like, nah, nah, nah. I'm rubber band co. You, you money bag, yo. Damn. Boom. How does someone in said, high school damn. get the name Money Bag Yo? We were just running around. Like, we, at this time, we gambling. Like, right. we gambling. We were scraping up all the money. You know what I'm saying? You know, doing And you the thought other you stuff. had some money then, right? Yeah. <laughs> at that time, like, <laughs> yeah. then, like, you know what I'm saying? Then yeah. it was like, it was a good feeling. It was cool. Money Bag Yo. All righty, <laughs> man. He doesn't like salmon or with skin on the bottom. For real, for real. Really, though? I hate that you got the skin. You got this skin it. Really? <laughs> hey, dude, skin. let me tell you, I love my salmon that'll, with the skin on it. That'll throw me off. Like, mm-hmm. that throw me all the way off if I see us. Like, if I'm eating and they forget to do it. 
Oh man, I can't. I like, and, right. I, and I ain't just, I ain't being heavy. I ain't trying to do nothing. I'm talking. I'm dead. I just like what I like. Don't like what I. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you sell salmon uh, at your restaurant? Yeah, we got do you all set, sell it skin on, or do we have to eat it you the way that you have, force us to eat it? Have, <laughs> <laughs> however, you, however you prefer. It, you know what I'm saying? We'll get it right for you. When did that become a thing for you? Uh, or it's just always been. It's always been because when I look, like it just it looked on. <laughs> It look appealing to it, me. It looked too much like fish. <laughs> yeah, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? I don't Do you eat know shrimp that. and everything like that? I love shrimp. Oh, okay. Easy love call. Shrimp. All righty, man. His favorite movie to watch is Public Enemy starring Johnny Depp. For real, for real. Mm, you was a little slow on that, though. No, I'm saying because okay. I got a lot of movies. That, that's just that's really one of them. But actually, I feel a little bit moved like on tour. Like I was on tour probably 2019. 2018, 2019. Hey. And then we ain't really, we was on the tour bus and we ain't have too many movies to right. go to. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, I know that. So I, I went to the go to and I just watched this shit over and over. I just, I liked it. Do you I have the acting it. bug in you? I kind of, a lot of people tell me I do. Yeah, Even man. when I'm shooting video, I'm like, bro, like, they be telling people on my team, we got to get him in some yeah. film. Would you, would you think about really, something like that? Or I you, think about, I'm thinking about, but I feel like, oh, right now I don't want to yeah, do it. Right. right now I don't want to do it. You got things you need to do first. Yeah, exactly. All right, before he got healthy, he loved eating Hostess Snowballs, the orange False, ones. false. Okay, all Hostess right. Hostess Snowballs? No, the cupcakes. Oh. Ooh. The cupcake busting. Hey, I still a, a sneak. Yeah, yeah bro. Sneak yeah, before you get through the trainer. You know what I'm nah, saying? before I go, sneak that in. Just hey, get man, try do, to get do you take the top <laughs> off? What the heck? You talking about the ones that have the icing on it? No, nah, that's the snowball. Them, actually, the snowball. No, nah, I'm talking about the, the Hostess Cupcakes, too. Where it's like they Not have the, the little swirls on the top. It's like the orange. It's the orange ones. They got the chocolate ones. They got the orange ones. They got the strawberry lemons. They got lemon Google, kind. Google me, which because I'm Google talking about like quick. the regular, cool like I'm talking there about the right cupcake. There, so I see oh. it right there. Yeah, yeah, this is right there. But it's, they, it's orange. Go back to the yeah. orange one. But the, yeah, but though that icing come off good on that too. That's the what hard, I'm it's kind of right hard ass. Oh yeah, yeah bro. Here you go, no, right I know exactly Chocolate what you're talking about. Boom. Hey man, you know I used to weigh 500 pounds, right? Yeah, for so sure. So I can mm-hmm. battle you in any kind of dessert meal, whatever, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There ain't a food that you can get past me and be like, man, Big don't know about it. You for know sure. what I'm saying? Trust, tr- trust me on that one. And it be right. so crazy, like, just trying to stay healthy. Like, it's so, oh, the man. food's so good. It just, and especially you, just, you got it just now, so good, too. Bro. Hey, man, I always say to people, I say, man, I wish I could eat whatever. And that was healthy. Yeah. You know what I'm exactly, saying? Like, exactly. whatever. And, and it was healthy. Was, yeah, and my body now, man... My body reacts to everything. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? My body reacts to everything. And it's like when you when you clean for so for a period of time and then you try to go back and do that, you yep. throw up. Yeah. You don't take, your, your body your, don't take it right. Your reject body it. know it, bro. You feel me? The one exercise he hates is squats and lunges. For real, for real. See, but, yeah, that's but you what I'm gotta doing. do them. Oh, oh, okay, damn, you have to. Okay. But you gotta <laughs> do them, but I hate them. Yeah. Like just mentally, I'll be like, I But do you don't have an assistant that can do that for you? No. Oh, okay. Just it don't work like that. Don't you wish? Don't you wish you could pay somebody they go work out and then it, yeah, and like, then it downloads to like your physical like yeah. oh, okay all right I'm good I'm good no, he carries sure. a notepad around with him because he like to write down his his thoughts and ideas for real for however real. he does you don't write down your lyrics no damn so and you, I just started doing it just shout out to God he like he got me just write this stuff down we're just, just you know, soothing. It's a right. soothing. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Just Why you write to do. it down as opposed to picking up your phone, putting it in notes? I don't know. Just, I feel like yeah. I can physically touch it. Yep. I can see it. I can, uh-huh. okay, this is what I'm finna do. Boom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is how I'm finna go about it. This is the calendar. Do you have a notebook with you today? Yes, in the car. That's crazy, though. Yep. Have you ever left it? Because sometimes, even in my notebook, I'll be like, oh, damn. Like, so I'll write everything sometimes. Yeah. And then I, it gets to a point, too, where I'm like, damn, I can't even lose this. For <laughs> you sure. Know what yeah, I'm yeah, for like, sure, for like, sure, for sure. Like, yeah, man, I got, you know, notes to my wife, like, what? let's fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, wow. like, yeah. But you don't write your lyrics down? No, I don't write how do you down. How do you record? It's straight out the TLP, like. Really, though? And I do bar for bar. Like, Jesus saw that, like, shout out to Jesus. Jesus can tell you that because he's sitting in the house. I invited him over to my crib. This was probably like two, three years ago or something like that. Uh, and he, like, at, when we did our song, I'm sitting in front of him, I'm recording a song. He, like, behind me, and he, like, as soon as I get through, he, like, oh, that's the sauce. That's the that's what you're doing. That's what's going on. You feel me? So he like, you don't, I ain't never done it. Like, cause I get coming from how they came with, like, it's yeah, right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I even trip off of how people put it in their phones now, and I see people rhyming like this through their phone. Yeah. That would have been hard for me. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I can't do that. Like, oh, I can't do that. So you'll have I some... do voice, voice memos, too. I'm sorry, my bad gotcha. for cutting you off. I no do, worries. I do voice memos, like, if I want to hear, and I do that for the cadence purposes. Right, right. Like, I want to hear how I'm saying it. 
if I get like the melody and how I'm saying it, I'm gonna feel the is words. It, is in. it real words? Or are you just going? Uh, nah, nah, yeah, do that. Uh, yeah, nah, 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 nah. yeah, I do that. That's crazy to build. Yeah. It, it's, it's crazy the creation of certain and things. Also, and yeah, and also when I'm recording, um, I say the word. I say this, the one line, the one, the one bar at least probably 10, 15 times to it come out. Like I might say, big boy, big boy, big boy, 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 big boy, big boy, neighborhood, neighborhood, till I get it. To his flat, to all, it all makes sense. But that works for you. Yeah, it works for me. Do other people see, and, and, and even with collabs now, like collabs, a lot of times you're not in the studio, and that's why you brought yeah. up Jeezy as well, because he was there. Yeah, he was and there. He, he saw that front saw row it. seats, yeah. Do, do anyone trip off of how you stack or how you create? No, nah, because I got into the mode, like, and I also had to be comfortable. It's not no shy thing. I just feel like when somebody, when you, when they looking at you through the glass or they can hear you, or it's just like it almost limited what you saying or how you, like going about things, mm. I feel like if I'm blocked in it, like if I'm, I'm closed in this in this room and you I'm, can my do eyes you. closed, I can just I'm gonna say whatever. Do you do you record with a lot of people in the studio? No, I'm, no. I'm, uh, can you excuse yourself, please? Like, yeah, me, I'm finna go to work. Let me right. Let me do this right. Like, <laughs> if, you, if you were a cashier, you wouldn't have like nine people in the cash booth with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so there there don't need to be that many people in the in the booth with you over there. No, nah, but you know what I'm saying. If I'm in a booth, sometimes I used to record like outside the booth. You really got right, right, right. But, yeah. Like people that I trust their opinions and constructive criticism, I lead them in the room. And you and you can still listen to that where someone will tell you. Like, I don't like to do the making. I don't like people certain people to see the making of too because they might like the first version right. of what I'm doing, but I hate it. Yeah. And then it's like when I get through with it, I get through cooking it up. You like this too, but it's like I don't like all that. Yeah, hey, hey man, and see what even with me. I like the creative process a little bit. Like when yeah. people say, "Oh, come to the studio." I'm more of just give me what's created. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? My like, daughter liked it too. Yeah, just I be give trying, me what's created. Be trying to get her. Dang, like the studio boring. I don't want to. Just when it's done, just let me hear it. You're like, <laughs> you're but like, she right. worked out. <laughs> you're like, okay, you're, yeah. that new bed that you have in that big ass room, is that boring? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> me sending you with a driver, is that boring? Yeah, like, exactly. Oh, okay, well, this, this is what we got to get in. Exactly. It, it's crazy though, man. Yep. It, it's crazy the work that you have to put in or the things that we don't get a chance to see. Exactly. Have you started any kind of like documentary or anything? Uh, no, I feel like I feel like documentaries is when you done. I feel like nah, man. I don't feel like it's when you done, but you probably can show them a little bit. I wouldn't show them everything on right, the documentary. Right, right. Hey, man, do you record a lot? Yeah, I record. Yeah, yeah, every day. And I'm talking about video too. Video, yeah, yeah. I got keep, two. I got two cameramen. Man, keep all that, times. bro. Every, I, they caught. They catch the raw. The yeah, man. Shooting off the relationship problems. The Disney. You, just keep it. One you, day I might just want to. Sell it. Yep. Look back. At, <laughs> and I'm telling you, man, I wish that I had more, I had documented more of my career. Like During my journey. Yeah, yeah journey. man. Yeah. So as much as you can. Even when I saw Kanye's genius, oh, yeah, for I sure. was like, man, it may have had looked intrusive. Cause I, even back in the day, I was like, man, I don't want that camera on me. Yeah. And I wish I would have. Yeah, exactly. You know, I wish I would have, man. Exactly, but here sure. we are. For real, for real, I wish I would have. Does it get hard to have a such a public relationship? Uh yeah, but people be in your business too much. They always just they got a, too many opinions on it. But you have to be strong, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Within like in re reality mm -hmm. in the circle and your partner, y'all have to be strong and just on the same page and do, understand what's going on in the world. Do you, Do you find though that it gives other people also? Like how when people say like couple goals or like people come oh, up to Lord. you and tell you like I love seeing that side of you. Yeah, uh, yeah, you got people that say that. A lot of people say that. A lot of people say that. A lot of people say you, you can't you can't make everybody have it, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't that make everybody true. have Definitely it. Definitely can't so. be your job either, bro. You go exactly. crazy. I live a real <laughs> life. It's just yeah. so happening. It's under a microscope. Like they paying attention to me. Like, but I live a real life. When hey man, no that's cap. the gift and the curse I was talking about too, though, man. Yeah, it's like like everybody want to be. In everybody want to know something. Everybody, you know, yeah, that's got to be a lot. How y'all do it? How you do this and that? Yeah, mm -hmm. we all go like you know, whatever. Do y'all eat food? What you mean? You and your queen? Do y'all together? Eat? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's crazy, <laughs> man. That's crazy. Exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, hey man, do you kind of hold back on? And I don't mean hold back on interviews, but do you kind of like, man, just listen to my music? You know what yeah. <laughs> you, I, yeah, I yeah. did at a point in time, but you also got to be able to be touchable and yeah, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Got to right. have people just to hear your side because the music is one thing. So much cap on it, it's just a right. lot of cap on <laughs> right. music. You know, it's just a lot of cap on music. So they also people want to look at you and just 
watch you and see how you delivering it, how you talking, how you saying it. Is this is this real? Is he mm-hmm. okay? He sounds he sounds authentic. It's, hey man, did you play any sports? Organic, huh? Did you play any yeah, sports? Yeah, basketball. How tall football, are you? Six four. Yeah, okay, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. when you, when I walked over there to you, you usually I don't try to interview people that's taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I was like, ah, you know what I'm saying? Like if you yeah. look at this picture with me in game, that's disrespectful. Yeah, how much taller you? <laughs> and then where's Khalif over here? He Snoop. even gave me a head nod where it made it almost right. Yes, yeah, Snoop. Snoop is just ridiculous. You know, I was with Two Chains uh, last weekend. I kept it at a distance because I don't like standing next to him either. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I used to not have people that were more attractive than me in here, but then yeah. I had like no guests. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, it was like, man, what I, yeah. do I keep interviewing Flavor Flav over and over again? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what, do I, what do I do here? You know, what I'm even uh, even Amir yeah. was like, man. I have no guests to bring. <laughs> I'm like, well, man, bring such and such back there. Yeah. Believe that, man. But no, thank you for coming thank into you. the neighborhood. Sure, bro. Appreciate it is y'all. a pleasure, man. It is a pleasure to have you in the neighborhood, man. For sure. Stay rich. I mean, uh, uh, my bad. Stay just the way you are. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Stay authentic. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I almost said stay rich like it was about money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, but no, I love watching your journey, bro. Appreciate you. Every time, and, and even outside of here, anytime that I see you, mm-hmm. you've always been a one from our day one you exactly, know what I'm saying sure. and every time I see you you've always been solid bro Correct. so it was a appreciate pleasure it. to have you back in the neighborhood for sure love bro appreciate it all y'all. the time man I'll see you soon yep, gotcha. so, I mean like tomorrow at my house yeah for my daughter's meet and greet money bag yo in the neighborhood <laughs> big boys neighborhood <laughs>